Good afternoon, everyone. JK here. It is Sunday, January 31st. And on today's episode of Jaguar Consumer, I'm going to take a look at Chipotle Mexican Grill, ticker CMG. Uh, This is going to be a quick preview note ahead of the company's Q4 earnings, which are going to be taking place this Tuesday, February 2nd, after the market close. And this preview is going to be divided into four sections. Uh, Section number one is on same store sale expectations. So back in October, uh, when the company reported its Q3 report, uh, management said that comm sales increased 8.3% with uh, digital sales increasing 202.5%. Now I'll touch on digital in a moment. Uh, But this past week, past couple of weeks, we've started to get preview notes. And just a couple of them that I want to highlight. UBS was out saying that they believe investor expectations are for Q4 same store sales of between 5 to 6% with Q1 to date trends accelerating to closer high single digits per their discussions. Uh, KeyBank, based on their survey, uh, they believe buy-side expectations for Q4 and quarter-to-date same-store sales growth are in the 5 to 6% range, so again, similar to UBS, uh, but they see the quarter-to-date trends in the 10 to 11% range. Um, they do note that in Q1, the upcoming Q1, uh, the company will be comping against an extra operating day and the uh, menu introduction of a case of Blanco, which happened uh, in February of last year. Uh, but based on their key first look data, they believe Chipotle's same store sales growth accelerated in January to the low double digit range due to stimulus, the launch of a new menu item, which I'll talk about, and then contributions from higher delivery menu prices. So as a result of this, they raised their Q1 estimate to 10%. Now let's move on to menu innovation. Uh, This is going to be a big one for the company. Uh, So after testing in 55 locations since July, the company rolled out its cilantro line cauliflower rice nationally this month. Uh, Truist Uh, was out saying they are encouraged or they were encouraged by the timing of this launch as it's going to help offset some of the difficult comps that I just mentioned. Uh, And that's going to be done through both traffic and average check. Uh, If you go to the the mobile app or chipotle.com and you add this item, there is a $2 add-on charge. Um, A couple other menu items uh, that you should be on the lookout for and you know menu items that companies should be talking about uh number one the smoked brisket uh the last update for this menu item was back on november 30th when the company revealed that it was available at 64 of its restaurants also the quesadilla uh, according to management on the q3 call uh, was available as a digital only menu option in a few test markets so we'll see if they talk about a nationwide rollout this tuesday and then finally uh, tractor beverages may get some attention Uh, these launched back in july and could possibly drive some improved beverage attachment rates as consumers have ventured back into the dining room Uh, Topic number three is digital growth. As I mentioned at the top of this recording, last quarter saw digital sales increase 202.5%. And of course, a lot of this was COVID related. Um, Digital sales in Q3 uh, represented 49% of total sales, and that's up from 19.6% in Q4 of 2019. Meanwhile, the Chipotle Rewards program has roughly doubled to 17 million enrolled members over that same time frame. Uh, A couple weeks ago, RBC Capital was out with an app download note saying that during Q4, uh, Chipotle downloads totaled nearly 1.2 million, uh, and that was an increase of 39% year over year. Uh, Now, promotions offered throughout the fourth quarter did drive 
some of the strength. Uh, they also highlight that weekly active users remain within a 278 to 307,000 range, uh, and that was up 31% on an average weekly basis over the entire fourth quarter. And then KeyBank was out with a note this past Friday saying that they believe Chipotle's digital sales are proving to be sticky and new customers are increasingly entering the brand through these channels. Based on their data, weekly indexed spending growth in the digital channel, so that's app and web and delivery, accelerated to over 185% year over year in recent weeks, even as the company recovered more than half of its in-store sales. And then the final topic is on Chipotle Lane. Uh, this is a relatively new concept, but with a Chipotle Lane, customers can place digital orders via the mobile app or Chipotle.com and then pick up their orders at a drive through window. Uh, Stiefel was out saying that the majority of future unit growth is expected to encompass the rapid expansion of the company's Chipotle Lane footprint with 70% or more of new unit openings in 2021 and beyond, including this option. And so far, unit footprints that incorporate this Chipotle have performed noticeably better than those without, with significantly higher AUVs, average unit volume, as well as a higher digital mix. So to recap on the company's you know, upcoming Q4 call, you're gonna wanna pay attention to commentary on same source sales menu innovation, digital growth, and the Chipotle initiative. So that is going to wrap it up for me today. I will catch you on the next one.